إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يدلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله ولتنذر نفس ما قدمت لغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون My brothers and sisters, brace yourselves The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said in a hadith which is reported by Bukhari on the authority Anas bin Malik رضي الله عنه He said صلى الله عليه وسلم اسبروا Be patient فإنه لا يأتي عليكم زمان There is no year that comes to you إِلَّا الَّذِي بَعْدَهُ شَرٌ مِّنْ Except that the one that comes after it will be worse. My brothers and sisters, in this year ahead, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the unseen and what will happen. However, we have been told by the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his sincere companions have warned us also that the fitna is only going to increase. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiya na'an, he said, يُوشِخُ مَنْ عَاشَ مِنْكُمْ I fear for those who live for a very long time, they will see a great deal of sins. My brothers and sisters, in a hadith reported by Muslim on the authority of Nisbim Malik, the Messenger of Allah told us about the days ahead. He said, that the hour will not be established Allah, Allah until none will be left on earth to say, Allah, Allah. In the times ahead, my brothers and sisters, the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to be lifted. Iman will be reduced to just saying, Allah, Allah, and even that will be taken away. Until he said in another hadith, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, reported by Muslim also, that the Dajjal will soon appear. فَيَبْقَى شِرَارُ nas. And when he appears on earth, the worst of all mankind will remain. They will be fast like birds. And the ulama have explained the statement of the Messenger of Allah they will be fast like birds, meaning they will be fast to commit immoral deeds. Like a bird. And they will be like predatory animals, beasts, meaning they will eat one another up in oppression and injustice. They will not recognize anything which is good, and they will not reject anything which is bad. Until he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, The shaitan will appear. He will walk amongst the people in the image of a human being and he will talk to them even. So he said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam فَيَقُولُ أَلَا تَسْتَجِيبُونَ He will say to mankind, will you not respond to me? Will you not respond to the Dajjal? So the masses of human beings will say فَمَا تَأْمُرُونَ What do you command us with? So the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, فَيَأْمُرُهُمْ بِعْبَادَةِ الْأُوثَانِ Shaitan will command them to worship idols and they will listen. وَهُمْ فِي ذَلِكَ And now look at the description of the Messenger of Allah وسلم. وَهُمْ فِي ذَلِكَ دَارٌ رِزْقُهُمْ حَسْنٌ عِيشُهُمْ They will have their provisions increased and they will live a nice comfortable life while Shaitan is there and the Dajjal is there and they are worshipping other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that these are the worst of creation. And there's going to come a time that this will take place. And then he said sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ثُمَّ يَنْفُخْ فِي السُّورِ Then the trumpet will be blown and the hour will be established. My brothers and sisters, when Tawheed is forgotten and when Ikhlas is abandoned, as you can see in this hadith, all that remains on earth is corruption. But how will that affect you? 
How will that affect your children? How will that affect the Ummah? My brothers and sisters, Ibn Kathir, he gives us the benefit from what's happened in this Ummah before. He tells us about Baghdad and how it was burnt down. My brothers and sisters, Baghdad was the seat of Islamic knowledge and civilization. When it was burnt down, when its knowledge was taken away, it was a huge loss for the Muslim Ummah. Hence, Ibn Kathir rahimahullah, talks about it and talks about the events which led up to that so that we can reflect. He says, Rahimahullah, وَبُدِّلَتْ بَعْدِ تِلَاوَاتِ الْقُرْآنِ بِالنَّغَمَاتِ وَالْأَلْحَانِ Before Baghdad was burnt down, before this Ummah was afflicted with this great affliction, he said before that took place, people had abandoned the listening of the Qur'an and reciting of the Qur'an and studying of the Qur'an and they had replaced it with singing and songs. And they left the study of the prophetic hadith Instead, they engaged in philosophy and theorizing. وَبَعْدَ the Riyasa وَالنَّبَاهَ بِالْخَسَاسَ وَالصَّفَاهَ they replaced, they replaced leadership and having just authority with oppression and meanness and foolishness. And then he says the consequence which should be recorded in our hearts and seen in our limbs and written in gold, my brothers and sisters. He says, رَحِمُهُ اللَّهُ وَمَا أَصَابَهُمْ ذَلِكَ إِلَّا بِبَعْدِ ذُنُوبِهِمْ what fell them, it was only a result of their deeds, of their sins. And your Lord is not oppressive over the servants. My brothers and sisters, He وسلم, said, as time goes by, each generation will get worse. Which will only mean that people will stop praying, people will stop giving in zakat. And in a hadith, Tabarani, which has been classified as Sahih by Al-Albani, Rahimahullah, he describes something as if he is alive right now, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He spoke the truth. He said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, مَمْنُعَ قَوْمَ zakat." There is no group of people which withhold the zakat. إِلَّا بْتَلَاهُمْ مِنْ اللَّهِ بِالسِّنِينَ Except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will punish them with years of successive hunger and drought. In another version, which is reported by Ibn Majah and also classed as Sahih by Albani, Except that they will be prevented and they will not even have a drop from the sky. Changes in the climate, my brothers and sisters, it rains and it doesn't rain. And when it does rain, people are still poor. When it rains, there is no barakah in our produce. When it rains, it comes as a punishment. He spoke the truth, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, about the days ahead. As people stop praying and people withhold their zakat, punishment will arrive. My brothers and sisters, one of the greatest sins which has filled the earth is, zul, is dhulm. One of the greatest sins that has filled the earth is dhulm. And soon as the Messenger of Allah has described, the earth will be full of dhulm, oppression directed towards the heavens, and oppression spread out like a net on the earth like a blanket. He says in a hadith which is reported by al Hakim, which has some weakness in it, it's been attributed that he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Yanzilu bi ummati fi akhir zaman, upon my ummah, there will descend in the last days, Bala'un shadeed min sultani. There will descend a great calamity from their leaders and their governments. Lam yusma bala'un ashaddu min. No one has ever heard of a calamity which is greater than the calamity that they will face. Hatta tadiqa anhum al ard al rahbah until they find themselves confined on the earth, nowhere to run. The oppression will spread so much, there will be nowhere on earth that you can get away from it. Until the whole earth will be full of wrongdoing and oppression. The believer will have nowhere to protect himself from the oppression that has filled the earth. In another hadith which has been made, Sahih Ba'al Bani, which supports this one, he says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, La taqumu sa'a, the hour will not be established, hatta tamla'u al-ardu dhulman wa jawran wa udwana, 
until the earth will be spread with oppression and wrongdoing and transgression. My brothers and sisters, our success and our provisions, our iman and our fortress depends on the rights that we give to one another. And before that, that we give to our master subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you fail in this, you will only leave yourselves exposed in the days ahead. My brothers and sisters, the dunya has not been mentioned in the Quran except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the reader to seek the akhirah instead. What we have in this dunya is la ilaha illallah and istighfar because of our sins. And in the days ahead, my brothers and sisters, la ilaha illallah will decrease. Tawbah and istighfar will decrease until you will see a world where the shayateen will walk openly with its inhabitants taking themselves as an open enemy against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says in the Quran, ظَهْرُ الْفَسَادُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ بِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِ النَّاسِ لِيُذِيكَهُمْ بَعْدَ الَّذِي عَمِلُوا لَأَنَّهُمْ يَرْجِعُونَ بارك الله لي ولكم في القرآن العظيم ونفعني وإياكم ما فيه من آيات وذكر الحكيم أقول ما سمعتم وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولجميع المسلمين فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله حمد كثير طيب مبارك في كما يحب ربنا ويرضى وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له الذي الأعلى وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله النبي المستفى صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا and my brothers and sisters, don't let today pass you by except that you have taken a lesson for tomorrow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us an example in the Qur'an. Allah gives you a lesson in a town that existed once. They lived in comfort. And they had whatever they wanted. Provisions from all different directions. فَكَفَرَتْ بِأَنْعُمِ اللَّهِ but they disbelieved and were ungrateful to the favors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punished them. فَأَذَاكَ اللَّهُ لِبَاسُ الْجُوعِ وَالْخَوْفِ بِمَا كَانُوا يَسْنَعُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala covered them with a taste of hunger and fear because of what they used to do. My brothers and sisters, don't let the seasons pass you by except that you have taken a lesson from it. Allah tells us that the hellfire is scorching. But there is actually a part of the hellfire which is extremely cold. It's freezing in its punishment. The Prophet ﷺ said in a hadith that's agreed upon, فَشِدَّةُ مَا تَجِدُونَ مِنَ الْبَرْضِ The extreme cold that you experience in these winter days in the dunya, مِنْ زَمْهَرِيرِهَا It is from the zamharir of the hellfire. Abdullah bin Mas'ud explains what the zamharir is. He says, who alone will adab is a different type of punishment in the hellfire. It is an unyielding cold. The hellfire has an unyielding cold. To the extent that when the people of the hellfire will be placed in Zamharir, they will call to Allah. And they will say, Oh Allah, punish us for a thousand years in the hellfire. Ahwan alayhim min adab zamharir yawmin wahid. This will be easier for us than one day in zamharir. A thousand years in the fire will be easier than one day in this intense cold will be a punishment worse than the fire. My brother and sister, these are lessons that we need to learn today. Because what is coming ahead of us is going to happen. The dunya, my brothers and sisters, the first of it and the last of it is a lesson for the believer. Allah swears by time in the Quran because of its importance. And each day you are being pushed forward. And as you are being dragged, some people are trying to grab onto the dunya. And they are trying to cling onto it. But when you are buried in the hole, two foot by six foot, whatever you have grabbed from the dunya won't fit in there. In actual fact, when you are buried and you enter into your grave, the dunya will either expand 
more than the dunya, the grave will either expand, more than the dunya that you currently live in, or it will be constraint and it will squeeze you tighter than the six by two hole that you were buried in the dunya in the first place. Inna Allah amarakum bi salati wa salam ala imam al-mursaleen wa azhar al-zahirin qala ta'ala inna Allah wa malaikatuhu yusallun ala nabi ya ayu al-ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna ka hamidun majid Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna ka hamidun majid Allahumma izza al-islam wa al-muslimin اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أسلح والمسلمين في كل مكان اللهم أتنا خير ما تتسائلين أجملنا سلاح الدنيا والدين واغفر لنا ولوالدين ولجميع المسلمين اللهم إن دعفاء اللهم إن دعفاء فقوينا يا قوي يا أزيز ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا ذاب النار اللهم أتنا نفوسنا تقواها وزكيا أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث أسلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا ترفة عين اللهم نعوذ بك من شر الفتن ما ظهر منها وما بطن ربنا أفرق لنا صبرا وثبت قدامنا وانسلنا عن قوم الكافرين ربنا أفرق لنا صبرا وتوفنا مسلمين اللهم في مرضانا وفي موتنانا وارحم موتانا وحد شبابنا يا ربنا نمين ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفرنا وترحمنا ونكوننا من الخاسرين ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا ذاب النار يبعد الله يذكر الله يذكركم واشكروه على نعمه يزدكم ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون